Spiritual Renewal Reflection for Sunday, August 28, 2022, the 12th Sunday after Pentecost. The watchword for the week, Hebrews 13, verses 1, let mutual love continue. In the Moravian Daily Text, the watchword for today says, Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the people. Psalm 96, verse 3. The accompanying doctrinal text comes from Colossians 4 verse 3 and it reads as follows. Paul wrote, Pray for us that God will open to us a door for the word. As we reflect on the spiritual renewal of our Moravian ancestors, let us hear what God will say to us through today's watchword. Psalm 96 is known as one of the royal psalms because it celebrates God as king. It is a psalm or a song of worship, praise and thanksgiving. King David sang this song for the entrance of the Ark of the Covenant into Jerusalem. 1 Chronicles 16 verses 2 and 7 say, And when David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then on that day, David first appointed that thanksgiving be sung to the Lord by Asaph and his brothers. For reference, see 1 Chronicles 16 verses 23 to 34. King David expressed the importance of prayers to an awesome God as they lifted their voices in song. In Psalm 96 verses 1 and 2, the psalmist used the word sing three times. It reads, O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Just like Asap and his brothers, we as children of God are called to sing and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. We are called to bless the name of the Lord for his name is wonderful. His name is worthy. Let us tell the world of his goodness. In that familiar story in the book of Acts, on the day of Pentecost, all the people were filled with the Holy Spirit, so much that others mocked them, saying they were filled with new wine. Similarly, on that memorial day, August 13th, 1727, in the community at Hernhut, during a service of Holy Communion and Confirmation in the church in Bertelsdorf, as the outpouring of the Holy Spirit came upon those quarreling Moravian Christians, love filled their hearts, causing them to put aside their differences, forgive and embrace each other. That event changed their lives forever. They too must have felt that love and peace that was felt as Peter stood to address the men of Judea after their outpouring encounter at the day of Pentecost. Wouldn't it be great to have that experience and testimony? Yes, we too can have that same experience by coming to know Christ as our personal Savior. Show a brotherly love and declare his glory and marvelous works among the nations. Let us pray. Holy Lord, as we draw close to the end of the remembrance celebration of August 13th festival, when a small community humbled themselves before the Lord of God, we praise you for your marvelous works. We thank you for your mercy and love. We confess our sin and miss opportunities for service. Rekindle that spirit in us today, Lord, and show us open doors to declare your glory to our community, nation, and world. In Jesus' name, amen.